The estuary in Seaside, Oregon has more of a history than only of Gateway Park and the scenic sunsets. Its story started thousands of years ago when a group of Native Americans, who later called themselves the Clatsops, took it for their tribe. The story really picks up when two white explorers ventured to their land in 1805 to bring a wave of white people and changing their land and lives forever. Really, it was only within that maybe 50 years after Lewis and Clark came and everyone started showing up, disease just took over everywhere around here. There was thousands of Indians that were killed because of disease because really in America, before any white people came, there wasn't really any trace of disease. Where So they got like, like chicken pox, for example, and when they came here, it, was, it just wiped out everyone. With the class of tribal numbers low from disease and the white people moving in, they signed the Tansy Point Treaty in 1851. In this treaty, they were to give their land up to the white people if they'd be recognized federally as a tribe. Unfortunately, that treaty was never ratified by Congress, and then the Clatsops, who had before owned from Tillamook Head to the Columbia River, had no land at all. When the government started taking place in the placing of Native tribes, they made one very big reservation in Oregon, and it actually became almost like a, like a slum, and they just squished a whole bunch of tribes into this one very small area. A lot of Clatsops also went to the Chinook because they had a more stable governmental stance. So that's one of the biggest reasons that most people didn't know the Clatsops even existed because they were just squished out of here. Not much is really known about the Clatsops up until just about 20 years ago. They thought we were absolutely extinct and it's been a new thing that we were around. My family actually, we thought we were Chinook for a while because our family took refuge in the Chinook. Area. The Bash family was enrolled within the Chinook tribe. Recently, they enrolled into the Clatsop Nahalem tribe, the tribe that they knew they were a part of. There are tribal meetings monthly in Seaside. There are also many events and parades that the Clatsop Nahalem tribe takes part in. We have meetings every year at the estuary here to try to get everyone together like we did back in the day and tell stories. The only people allowed to camp here and the only people allowed to stay here and do anything really besides like go walk through it are the class of people since it was the biggest village site here in Seaside and Cannon Beach area. That is one place that the state and the city has said that they're willing to set aside for us. Though the Klutz opinions have left the estuary as a permanent residence, the quest for the land to be theirs permanently is in sight as they pursue federal tribal recognition. As the sun sets over the estuary, another sun will rise, bring forth more days of light and hope for the Clatsop Nahalem Confederated Tribe.